my name is Benito Cabrera. I do mainly bottom fishing, and um, I started this 13 years ago. I started off part-time, and it just blew up. Trying to get some yellowtail, some mangroves on the bottom. At the same time, ballyhoo are getting closer to the boat. We're gonna fill the live wolves with ballyhoo, and then we're gonna go to deep water for the mutton bite and the grouper. First thing is, your weight never goes out of the water. It stays where you see it now. Your swivel out of the water, your weight in the water. So you don't hit the boat, you don't hit anybody. What you wanna do is, you want to go to the bottom, you hit the bottom, come up, and take two turns, okay? When you get a fish on, you're going to reel, 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 reel fast, and you got to watch that swivel because it's very quick. So right there, when you see it there, you're going to go like this. I'm going to grab your leader, and you're going to pull it out of my way. Try to grab the bigger pilchards. When you're going to go to the bottom, you want the bigger ones, so here's one of the bigger ones. So you want to go right in the middle of the slot, right in front of the eyes, just like that. So when it swims, it's going to swim naturally with the current, staying straight, so it doesn't go in circles and tangle your line, and it's more natural. So you're going to put it out. You can even leave your rod right there if you want. This rod will, will bring in a 50-pound fish on the gunnel like that. All you have to do is crank, and if you can't crank, you go to two speed. Oh, we're getting the body close now, so that's good. So they're going to bite a little further. I'm gonna put it in the oats. I'm gonna do six whips. One, two, six. And now I'm gonna do now is just hold my rod up and wait for the bite. There's my bite. You wanna be fast or you won't get them to the boat. This is a nice one too. So when you have the length of the rod, you're gonna lift them slowly right into your hand. Woo! Put the rod on the holder over here. Now I have enough line to handle my fish without nice. having to open the reel. Check this one out. Video this one. Stick the stick right down his throat. Grab the line and the stick. Not inside the bucket, on top of the bucket. And go in circles. It's right off the hook every time. We just finished catching bait catching some yellowtail and chumming. Now we've pulled out our chum. We're gonna go into 140, 150 feet, anchor up, and put down some live ballyhoo and try to catch some muttons and grouper. You're right on the edge of a drop off, and I wouldn't doubt it if you get slammed by a big grouper here. A big fish, man. Get behind me so I can give you the rod. Jump back. Go to the left. Now it's not make a feel. Woo! There you go. Decket has got more sturdy. Yeah. More sturdy and I can see when I wash it, it just comes right off. Right Everything comes right off of it. As far as the uh, grip on your feet, it's a lot better. And it's comfortable and it doesn't slip. You can leave your cooler over here, over there. It's not gonna go anywhere. You know, fiberglass, you need to put something under it and all that. With this, you don't need to. It doesn't move. You have a flat line out. We're gonna put another flat line out with a pilcher on a regular line without wire. That one has wire, so we have a chance at the tuna. If you can put that net down, we'll put the other rod right in there. We're gonna hit that grupa. Already there. Come to me. Is a matter of time. Yes! Woo! Oh my god, that's a thick one, man.